So, this is Chaos, Chaos Games. Been a while since I've made an actual video. Uh, but this is a special occasion. I wanted to do a review, uh, since I just had the opportunity to play through uh, Devil May Cry 5. Now, it's been a long time coming for me. Uh, Devil May Cry and I have a very long history, a long and storied history. So, wanted to take a few moments just to give my thoughts on the newest entry on the series, now that I've had the opportunity to play it through uh, at least one time. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not as young as I used to be, so I'm not sure how um, how much I'll actually play it. Like the old ones back in the day, I would play it pretty thoroughly. I would, you know, I remember four, I played every mode there was and, and tried to get the, the max ranks and everything. Nowadays, I don't kind of, I don't think I have that have that in me anymore, so, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've done it before. I came back years later, uh, did something similar with Bayonetta after having played the original Bayonetta once. So, you know, maybe in a dry spell, I'll, I'll get the itch, you know. But for now, uh, I just want to, you know, take it on a, a first playthrough basis and uh, just give my thoughts on uh, the direction of the series and everything uh, concerning that. Now, um, let's start. The gameplay is back to its, its original self, how it was. It's crisp, it's smooth, it's back to form. Uh, things are great uh, in comparison to that abysmal reboot they tried back in 2013. Now, there's a lot of people who liked it. I, you know, I played it, you know, played it enough times to really, and that's actually one of the ones that I actually play, you know, all the, as many modes as I could up to Devil May, at least through Dante Must Die. I didn't, don't know if I, I don't remember doing anything much past that. I may have done like Heaven or Hell or something, but I didn't do Hell or Hell. If there was, I'm not sure. I don't remember now. It was a pretty forgettable experience for me. It, it just it just didn't feel. It felt like a Ninja Theory hack and slash game, which is good. You know, I like uh, Journey to the West or whatever that game was called. It was a pretty good standalone game on its own. wasn't top tier hack and slash material, but it was all right. Um, not like the Japanese over the top uh, stylish hack and slashes uh, that that. Devil May Cry was known for, but this uh, this video isn't about the reboot. I just wanted I, I just brought that up to say that it's gotten back to form how it was in you know in, in one or in three mainly when three really fleshed it out and got things to that level of insanity that people uh, um, classify uh, Devil May Cry for. Now Devil May Cry one was pretty flashy, but it was nowhere near the levels of of Three. So three is when we're we're talking about the epitome of flashiness, what the series became, um, you know, known for. It, it starts with three. Two we don't talk about. Two. Two was an abysmal. One was a, a amazing. It was my first PS2 game I ever got in my life, uh, and it has a very special place in my heart. Uh, DMC One was it, it was a great, excellent game. The tone, the the story, everything was great. The only thing that wasn't great was that infamous um, "fill your dark soul with light" <laughs> thing that it's so people uh, you know rag on some meme Stephen Till still to this day. But um, Devil May Cry to me is the best Devil May Cry since three. Four was okay gameplay wise, but what I didn't like um, in four was the fact that you. Did the run with Nero, then were forced to fight the same bosses with Dante again. So it was a lot of filler in in four. It's like Nero started, didn't really do much, because it took Dante to clean up the mess in the end. So Nero would fight a boss, and then Dante would have to come back through and kill the boss. So it was almost like Nero's portion in the game was pointless, almost. He didn't really finish the job. And Dante was forced to come in and finish the job, except to the very end when Nero had his moment to shine. Apparently, finally, uh, and, the, and you know, four that 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 will lead me into uh, something about the direction of the series. But I'm I, I'm going to continue on that. So four gameplay wise was solid. 
and it you know it was it was a it kept us to the same vein as three did you know gameplay wise and, and and what it brought to the table and i did like some of the mechanics that nero brought to the table that were unique but ultimately i wasn't really impressed with with him as a character back then uh still my favorite part of the game was playing as dante and i you know kind of just kind of hurry through Nero's phases to, and I, I once I got more serious about it and was trying to get the good scores and get the triple S runs, then I took him more seriously because I had to because he was part of the game. But really, what I was looking forward to was Dante's parts. As I'm an old school Don, a Devil May Cry guy, Dante's my boy. Dante will always be my boy. Nero can't replace him. Now, there might be some young cats out there who started back in 08. That was their first experience with Devil May Cry. That Nero might be their boy. Unfortunately, we're not going to agree there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. We're just not. Dante's my boy. Always will be my boy. Which leads me to this. Ten, over 10 years ago, in 08, they were trying to change the face of the series. I don't know what, why. They were trying to push, shove Nero down our throats back then, uh, but they were. And I didn't think too much of it. I wasn't excited about it, I, be, be, but I didn't think much of it because I knew Dante was still going to be in the game and still be a playable character. So I was like, oh, well, I'll have to get through this, this kid's part to get to my guy. And I accepted him. And instead of going with that same vein, of course, in 2013, they just said, you know, forget all that. We're gonna throw the whole original series line out and try this new thing. And people were telling, them, "Don't you do that? Don't you dare do that! When don't do it!" And they did it anyway. And people, it, it failed. And fortunately, they had to. I don't know what we told them. They could have saved some money. We told them not to do it. They did it anyway. But you know, so now we're back with the mainline series, and they're still. Trying to push Nero as the guy. Now, Devil May Cry 5 does an amazing job of allowing you to share the spotlight between characters. You know, um, <laughs> excuse me, but, uh, you know, they, they got a new addition to this, a mysterious character named V, uh, and there's a point, several points in the game where you switch between the, the characters. There's a lot of content in the game. I mean, there's content in the game. It's about the standard length of a Devil May Cry game. Didn't really seem to be a lot of filler in this one as is, you know, as fun, as um, Devil May Cry is known to have a lot of filler. You fight the same bosses a lot in the old ones, uh, especially in one and in three. You fight the same bosses a couple times. Uh, and four, you definitely fight the same bosses a couple times. And two, I don't remember much about two, but I remember you fight the same bosses. One boss, uh, the boss with the wolf. I forget the little skeleton-looking knight dude with the wolf. Forget his name. Two is totally forgettable. We don't talk about two. Um, I think a boss was a helicopter in that game, too. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... Five is not a lot of waste. I mean, there is one segment where you fight, do a, one of those standard, you know, boss gauntlet things of repeating the same bosses that you fought before in the game, but you don't fight them with the character you fought them with before, and it's, it has a special condition, so it's it's okay. Um, the new character, V. I found myself in, in, in terms of character favorites in the game. Um... I found that I liked my. It went, I liked Dante at the top, of course, because he's my guy, still my guy, always will be. Then I like V, and then at the bottom I like Nero. Nero's at the bottom somewhere, you know. He's not even top tier for me, but they're trying to push him as the guy. He's the he's the guy for the series going forward, and I don't know why. No one. I, I, I'll tell me if I'm wrong. Does anybody want Nero to be the guy? Because if so, let me know. Because I don't know anybody who wants Nero to be the guy. But the story goes away where, the, where they're basically saying that Nero is going to be the guy going forward. 
And all right, I mean, I don't agree with that, but for looking at the game from its own merits, um, they 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 were found unlike a four where it was just basically a the half Nero's half of the game was just filler and fluff. They found a way to make uh, the game go smoothly and share the game between three characters. And it worked amazingly, seamlessly. Uh, and I really thought that was masterfully done. Well done, Capcom. You you managed to do what you couldn't do in four. And I, I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed with what you just did there with Devil May Cry 5. You get some missions, you're forced to play with one character, and that's fine, but it's a unique mission. But then there's other missions where you can choose if you want to play with Dante, Nero, or V. And I, you know, once Dante became available, I was playing with Dante. But when it, between, when it was between Nero and, and V, which had, there was it towards the early runnings of the game, I chose V. Because I told you, I do not like to play as Nero. He's not my guy. I don't like his style of fight, especially in this one with his little devil, his uh, his little robot arm. Well, it's cool. It's nowhere as destructive or or, or impressive as what Dante can do, or what V, especially what V can do. I think V is the only character. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a bit rusty now, so uh, you know I'm not as as quick in the the hand eye as I used to be in my youth. So. V was the only one I was able to get a triple S ranking uh, with in the combat. Because his style, it just, it just meshed with me. He was kind of, you know, you can kind of say out of the way he does. It's a really unique and cool style. Like he summons demons from the first game, like the, the, the Griffin, a small miniature version of the Griffin. Uh, the Shadow Panther, which was one of the most annoying enemies in the original game. And one of the most memorable ones. I will say Devil May Cry 1 has some of the most memorable... Um, general mobs in series history. And they brought a lot of them back. And I, I felt like this game was a love letter to the first Devil May Cry in a lot of ways. And uh, they brought some back some of the soundtracks from the original game, made some remixes on them, like Anarchy and the, the UW, which was one of my favorite tracks in, in gaming history. And they did a, a remix when the Nobodies came out. Uh, and they brought the Nobodies back. So it's a lot of a lot of things from the first game made it made a, uh, a return. Some things from the third game, the the the, the scythe wielding Grim Reaper type types uh, of enemies. Then they had some new, unique type of enemies, which I found uh, a, a great mixing of new and old. Um, so to, yeah, to me, this game did a lot right. Uh, the game itself was amazing. It's the, probably the best Devil May Cry since three. Uh, you know, I, it's gotten back to its form as the, the uh, levels of the original trilogy, barring two. Two was terrible. Still worse than series. I would take the reboot over two any day. But so one, three, and five are up there for me. And, you know, 5 is, is probably the way they did it, the, the seamless uh, way they meshed those characters. In. It might, it might, don't string me up for this, but I think I might say that 5 to me is better, just slightly better than 3 at this point for me. Um, but that's how I feel about it. So I was, I was very pleased with Double May Cry 5. And Capcom, you you killed it with this one. You nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. And I'm telling you, but I'm again, I'm worried about the general direction going forward. Because even though they made this something in the end of the game to make Nero a lot cooler than he was, he's still not my guy. You have to understand that the people who are liking this game are old schoolers like me. You're not going to get too many of these young cats playing this game because young cats aren't into these type of games. They're into like Apex Legends. They're into Fortnite. They're into those Battle Royale games, those looting, looting shooters. They're not into hack and slash games like we were. You know, I'm old school now. You know, early 2000s. We were into a different type of game. So I'm, don't. he's not our guy. Don't do it. 
If anybody from Capcom listens, do not, he's not our guy. If you do this, I talked to a friend of mine who just played this herself, and she says that if if they put Nero as a main character, she will not play the next game. Don't do it. I'll play it myself because I, I I love Devil May Cry, and I will you know I'll I'll at least give it a shot. I even gave the reboot a shot, but don't just don't do it. We're telling you, okay? We told you with DMC the reboot, and you did it anyway, and you saw what happened. Don't don't test us. Don't do that. I'm we're, I'm telling you, don't do it. But anyway, that's that's my only piece of advice. Uh, for the, the game creators. Otherwise, excellent job on, on Devil May Cry 5. Loved it. Um, I think I, at some point I will definitely be picking up and playing it again. So, and, uh, and there is some hope for the, the series going forward. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think about it. Uh, try to keep spoilers to a minimum if you could um, in, in the comments. If But um, otherwise... This has been Chaos for Chaos Games. Get until next time, can't gamers game more. Huh?